Hi, I'm Karman Agaev. In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you the way of converting the database from one platform to another using Convert Database command in RMAN. For this, we'll need two VMware machines. On the first machine, I've installed Oracle TenG Release 2 on Windows Operating System. And on the second machine, I've installed Oracle TenG Release 2 on Oracle Enterprise Linux. In this video tutorial, I'll migrate the database from Windows to Linux. As both Windows and Linux operating systems share the same Indian format, we can use convert database command to convert the database between these two operating systems. So let's start the process. First of all, we need to define the Indian format of each platform and be sure that they are same. For this, query we do our transportable platform view. Here you'll see that the Indian format of the Linux and the Windows operating systems are same. They are both little Indian format. This means that we can easily use convert database command to migrate the database from one operating system to another. To get a platform name of the running database, query we do our database view. The platform name of our database is Windows. Now we need to start the database in read-only mode. But before it, let's create a table and query it after the migration on the target database. However, this step is optional. Now close the database and start it in read-only mode. Now use CheckDB procedure of the DBMS GDB package to verify whether the database can be migrated to the specific platform and its current state is correct. If it returns false, it means that the database couldn't be transported. If it doesn't return the result, it means that the state of the database is correct and it can be migrated to the specified operating system. As it doesn't return anything, it means that the database status is correct. Next, use check external function to verify whether the database has external tables, directories, or B files. Now, create a directory for the converted data files. Now use convert database command to transport the entire database to the destination platform. Specify any name for the new database. Transport script. This script will be used to automate the creation of the database on the target server. This parameter creates the converted data files in a specified folder. As a first value, use the base data file directory. You can find it by querying with dollar data file view.
here it is. And the second value will be the folder which will contain the converted data files. The platform. This will start converting the data files. Now create a parameter file. And switch to the test directory to check the files that were created. Here they are. The data files, the parameter file, and the transport SQL file. Now move these files to the target destination. If you have installed VMware tools, just select and drag those files to any folder. Then move those files to the Linux operating system in the same manner. Create a directory. Now switch to the Linux operating system and create a directory under the TMP folder and move those files to that folder. Now create necessary folders for the database creation. First of all, switch to the Oracle Home directory and create admin and dump folders. Create a flash recovery area. and create Aura Data Folder. Now move all DBF files to the Aura Data Folder. Now edit parameter file and make necessary changes. Convert all test DB to lint DB.
Now edit transport SQL file and change the directories. That's all. Now we're ready to create a database. For this, set Oracle SID environment variable and run transport SQL file. Now, while running util rpsql file, you can use this query to get the number of remaining invalid objects. As util recomp package compiles invalid objects, the number of invalid objects should decrease. As you see, it decreases. The process is finished. Now query the table that was created before. The table is here. So in this video tutorial, we have successfully converted the database that was running on the Windows operating system to the Linux operating system. See you on the next tutorials.